possible, you know. And that will be, and that's something that for, when you look at the past, you know, because obviously you live in the shadow of your predecessors, very much so, and you stand on the shoulder of those giants if you're lucky enough to. And when you look at Beijing, it's extraordinarily spectacular. You look at Greece, it's very, very beautiful. But you look at Sydney, and it's got that. What they got in Sydney was that feeling of involving people, that feeling of inc inclusivity. Boyle has a wealth of experience directing theatre and Oscar-winning movies, and he'll be drawing on every bit of it as the opening of the game is fast approaching. The huge 80,000-seat stage is almost set, and Boyle is relishing the challenge. The pressure of a live event is delicious, actually, and that's one of the reasons... Uh, that's one of the reasons on a per purely personal, egotistical level you want to do this. Because you want to test yourself with the absolute thing that actors do all the time in theatre, which is, can you do it on the night? Can you step out there in front of people and present the best about yourself to the world? The title of the show, Isles of Wonder, takes its inspiration from Shakespeare's play, The Tempest. But while Shakespeare will play an integral role, Boyle intends to draw attention to more obscure facets of Great Britain. One of the sequences in the, in the evening will celebrate our unique uh, National Health Service. And that will be populated almost entirely by volunteers from the National Health Service. So that'll be a great, that'll be a great dance moment. The Olympic opening ceremony will cost roughly £27 million, pounds, a figure that has drawn derision from critics for being too expensive. Stephen Daldry, the director of the Billy Elliot movie and stage show, is aware of the criticism, but maintains that it's a long way short of China's lavish budget. There is no way financially we could financial scale with what China was, was doing, and I don't think imaginatively, creatively, it was something that appealed to the four different artistic directors um, of the four different shows to try to engage in that level of, you know, vast, huge um, sort of uh, mass event, but try to do something very different. One major difference will be the inclusion of over 1,000 school children in the ceremony. It means so much, just to get to dance in the Olympics, it's like a one in a lifetime opportunity. It's like you'd never get this opportunity again, you The next six months will be full of rehearsals and anticipation for the volunteers and directors as they look forward to a day that has been seven years in the making.